Well, howdy, YouTube. I'm back. Attempted auto. This is Paul. And this is my new trailer. I have a new winch. I have a battery box that I built. But I have just hanging wires. So well, let's uh, let's get this thing all put together correctly and um, put a charging system in it. I'll show you how to wire this thing all up. We'll have this thing ready for the next adventure. And that's uh, in like two days. So here we go. So this is the battery box that I built. It's just angle iron. I think these thinner ones was actually just bed frame. These I bought, I don't know where, tractor supply maybe, Home Depot, I don't know. Um, just welded it up, drilled it right into this uh, plate, the winch plate that came with the trailer. I have grade 5, 5 16 bolts holding it. I am going to change this top one here um, because I want to use a cable clamp on the back side. I need a longer bolt. The only longer bolts that I have are grade eight. So this one's gonna get a grade eight, but not because it's grade five isn't strong enough, but just because that's the only longer bolt that I have. So the battery box, it's just a tractor supply battery box that's made to fit right into that. Let me set you guys down if I can so that you can still see something. That might work. So we built that just to drop in as tight as possible into this box. That'll hold it pretty good. I also welded a chain which can go over one-handed. It's gonna go over hook into that which it's not going to do right now there we go hook into that and then it can get clipped in place right here so uh but that'll be for a later time so so that's the box inside of this box we have the tools i need a little bit of wire this is the dc to dc charger and just like uh, the winch plate, I picked this one because it was an uh, Amazon used used open box uh, item. It looks brand new to me. Uh, it's just missing its cables. I don't care about the cables because I'm going to wire it with my own anyways. Uh, anything else in here is some wires, some connectors, some connectors for the DC to DC, and then... A little bit of tools to put it all together. So let's get all that sorted all out and then uh, we'll get back to you when we're ready to start doing some work. Okay, so I've got this emptied out. One thing I want to do is make sure everything's going to fit in this box. Um, I could probably build it right here and then put it on the trailer and then finish wiring it in. So this is my battery. It's an 800 cramp, uh, cold breaking lamp battery. The, uh, the winch says it needs a minimum of I think 675 this is what I had so this is what's going in there so it can go all the way to one side uh, that'll be good a DC to DC this unit right here and again this thing looks looks really new I mean it looks in really good shape um, it's just missing the, the wires that come out of it. But that will go right here. And again, it looks like uh, plenty of room for that. There's plenty of room to tuck in here for wiring. So far, so good. Take the lid. And that goes on. So everything should hide into here pretty good. So pull back out and get started. Um, first thing I want to do though is drill a couple drain holes in the bottom of this. Just in case. We'll get some drain holes in it. There. Now if water does get into it, hopefully it'll just drain out, not get into the electronics. Other holes I need to drill are to mount this thing right here. So, let's see if I can do this without making a gigantic mess. Okay, 
So now, with the holes drilled, get some screws in this thing. Put some washers on them. Get that thing all bolted in. Got one. I guess I wasn't exactly center because I'm closer closer to the handle with that one than with the other one. But nobody will really notice, I guess. It'll still do the job. like that that's installed now this actually has I don't know if you can read it or not probably not it actually has instructions right here on what goes to what and wires used where so that makes it easy so you have DC input uh, positive DC input negative output positive output negative those four and then it also has some for solar if you want to hook a solar panel up you have a positive and negative for that I believe it's 16 to 24 volts solar uh, it takes to operate this charger and I believe the range is 12 to no I don't remember 12 12.5 to 16 um, on the on the DC input side so it should work just fine um, when I tested the plug on the back of my truck, it was putting out 12.5 or 12.3 not running, and I think 13.3 with it running. So no problems there. 13.3 I think is or 13.5 I think is minimum to charge a battery. So if you just wanted to run this right off of your truck, it, it really wouldn't work. You, you might get a little bit of a charge. Um, it would never keep it up. This thing also knows when it's full. It turns on, turns off. It, it uh, it's like a smart charger. So, better system. So, let's turn that around again. Oh, that in there. Now it does want, the instructions do call for 10 gauge wire. I'm running 12. My thinking is because this is only a 20 amp, um, 12, is, 12 will handle uh, 20 amps. 12 gauge wire will handle 20 amps. Uh, I'm thinking the 10 is for the distance from the front battery to the back battery. However, like I said, GM wired mine to have 12 volts back there, and they put a 40 amp fuse in it, so it should be able to handle the 20 amp that this is drawing. Uh, GM engineers hopefully know what they're doing. So we're going to run some leads from the output long enough to hook to the battery. We're going to run for input long enough to reach the, uh, the breakaway battery box on the trailer, and then we'll wire that up. So uh, let's keep going. Okay, so we got the charger all wired. These two here are going to the truck battery to power it. And these two are going to the trailer battery to charge it. So let's go set this box on the trailer and uh, work on that wiring. So uh, set you down for a second. already in my handiwork not in the where I drilled those holes are hitting the top here and since I built this exact I might have to move these up to the middle screws if I can't get this to fall in place let's see if I can get that to drop down okay it wasn't a big deal they dropped right on Okay, battery box is in place. I have my junction box apart. Now, on this plug, if, you're, if your vehicle is wired correctly for the seven prong plug, 
All right, let me give this a second's worth of thought here. Um, this, this one right here, so on the flat, on the flat part, okay, I don't know if the camera reverses this or not, but if you're at my angle, if you're behind the plug, you have this flat uh, part on the top, off to the right on the top. That's your positive. Opposite of that, which would be on the left side on the bottom, that's your DC negative. So those are the two that you're going to need for your battery charger. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this on continuity, my tester, and we're going to ring this one out first. Continuity. My cheap tester doesn't have an audible, I don't believe, no, but it will go to zero. So this one, and I think it's the blue, if I had to guess. Uh, which isn't going to zero, but it's going somewhere. Come on, go to zero for me. Show me I'm right. Show me I'm right. Interesting. Is that not the blue one? That one right there. Blue. Let's see if I get any continuity on anything else. Oop, I get it on black. There it is. So why am I getting it on blue also? Black. Are you the winner? Black is the winner. Okay, so I wonder what that is. Must be through an LED or something somewhere. Alright, so black is what I'm after on that one. Now, opposite of it. Still getting it on that blue one. I don't know what that blue wire is then. Oh, you know what? That's for the charger. That's tied to the charger. Yeah. Uh -oh. So, white maybe? Right, there it is there. So, black and white. Black. Oops. Black being positive and white being negative on this setup. So, those are the two wires I need to cut into. Alright, so this is all wired. Here's my uh, DC positive. Tucked them both into that one connector. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Um, there was no connector. There was no junction uh, splice point for the uh, DC negative in here. So I just um, <clears throat> spliced it in, soldered it, put some tape on it. That's done. I also taped up the wire up to the battery box. I'm going to put some wire loam on that also. But this is all done. I could put this back together and then I can get working on getting the battery into that. <clears throat> So let me, uh, let me get this together, get the wire loam on it, and um, yeah, then we'll keep going. So I grabbed quarter inch wire loam. I hope that's big enough for this. It looked fine inside, but now that I'm out here, it looks like it might be a bit too small. Yeah, I might have to grab, I might grab the next size bigger instead of wrestling with this. Might be easier, but I can do that afterwards then. So, uh, I'll go grab some half inch, but I won't do that right off the bat. Let's just get this back together. Drop the battery in. Get the connectors on the battery. Red was to red, white was to black. Alright, let's see if I can get all of this back into that little space. Right here. I guess that's how they wanted it. It's pretty amazing to me how manufacturers can do this stuff. But, all right, that goes there, there. And why is that pulling tighter? Nope, not yet. Don't have it yet. I was real careful to make sure mine ran where they needed to run. There it goes. All right, so that is done. Let me go grab the battery. So we're gonna set the battery right up here for it. Nope, I guess we're not. Get them out of the way. Drop that battery in. Guess we need to get those out of the way. Those are what I used to charge it with. Get that in there. All right. So what's next is. 
Ooh, I tape this up. We got to get the wires from the winch tied in underneath and up into that battery box, and then we uh, we need to get those connectors all made. Should be pretty simple. So let me reroute them, get that clamp on them, and um, then I'll get back with you when we have something technical to talk about. So I got the right size wire loom. I'll get that tucked on. Now to hook this to the battery, I'm just using these. Uh, I don't know, GM style battery clamps that I got from uh, Advanced Auto. But how I'm going to use them is I'm going to remove the band and the, uh, the winch is going to go to one side. If you can see that, winch to one side, and then I'm going to put in a ring terminator on the other side or on the battery charger side, and that's gonna go to the other one. So let me get these spliced out, put in, and uh, then I'll bring you in close and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here you have it. If this makes more sense, um, you have the winch, and then you have the charger, both under their own lug, going to the main lug to the battery. Um, the hot <coughs> looks the same. So we're gonna get these on in their respective spots, and then we're gonna test the winch um, since this has never been used, I've got to run that winch cable out and then pull it back on under some kind of load so that it winds properly so that it doesn't dig down into the deep into the drum and, and make a tangle the first time I try to use it, you know, if I don't run it all the way out. So let me get the battery hooked up and uh, then we'll, we'll give the winch a test. the last step is to put a thousand pounds of tension on it while I reel it back in. Let's go suck it up to that tree. So I guess the first real step is getting the winch mounted. Um, I did that the other day, but uh, I guess we can go over it a little bit. This is a Smitty built uh, winch, 9,500 9, pounds. Uh, I've put it on a, I don't know if you can see it, Amazon. I got that off Amazon too. I like to look for things that have a used option when I buy them on Amazon. It was $35, the regular price was 70 generally there's not really used they were just returned um but the only i guess the only thing that i don't know the takeaway for this is make sure when you mount that that you have it true and square to the trailer so that you're paying straight down um that'll keep it from from uh binding wrapping over itself and it'll be able to lay nice and flat like this uh, as you can see i'm actually shooting this afterwards because i forgot to mention that and uh, i already have it on the winch is already pulled straight out of it the winch cable's already pulled straight out uh but there's the winch and uh yeah like i said i mean it's it's pretty basic getting that on there i just wanted to mention that have it good and square and straight okay so the last thing we need to do is test this system i'm hooked to the truck now uh so here it is all wired. I'm not plugged in yet. I have, uh, let's check this real quick. So I can set you somewhere. Can you see it? All right, you can see it. So, we have 12.43. Oh, I'm probably right in the way. Let's see if I could do this without being right in the way. 12.48, okay. So, 
So let's plug the uh, plug the trailer in. Come with me. Oh, okay, so the breakaway is charging. This unit is doing nothing. Turn that around. It's doing nothing, which is good. It's less than 12.5. That's what it's supposed to do. So now that the truck is running, we are on. We are charging and it has gone to lead acid all on its own so it's working good let's uh see if i can do this one-handed probably not let's get that in there maybe get that on here and we are now charging at 14 volts Curious what we're bringing in here. Um, that would be this side here. Can I get into this or not? No, I can't. Can't do it one handed. Maybe I can. So 13.6. 13.6, and it's stepping it up to 14. So I'd say we did it. That's a win. So there you go. Actually, let's shut it off and see if the unit shuts itself back off. Okay, so the truck is off now. That's still charging. And that still is. And now it's uh, saying, hey, whoop, we lost our voltage. Oh, lost our voltage what are we doing and it's out so this won't be draining either battery with the truck off but with the truck on it's charging so there you go guys that's how you do it all right guys thanks for watching i hope you learned something hope you can uh, get your trailer working right or your battery working right in your trailer um it's all set it's all ready to go we are done. Well, nothing left to do now but hit the road and, you know, drive 2,000 miles. So, uh, again, thank you for watching. Um, this is Attempted Auto, and we'll be back with uh, the next adventure. Thank you.